Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Where's the kitty? Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, it is late in the day, like noon, and I'm just coming down to the barn to do chores. It's freezing outside. Gabby was down this morning. She did a basic chores, which is basically feed the horses. Hey girls! And it is... It's mud season! It's t oh, five degrees. Five degrees above zero, which is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, if you guys don't live in Canada. Hi! You guys looking for water? You'd be looking kind of messy. Hi. Do they need water? Yeah. Yeah? Do they have? They have to drink. Okay, well, we're going to dump that and clean out their tank and give them fresh water. Oh, look at your ears. Look at your hair. Mm, thank you. One thing I love about having horses at home is that you get to do everything your way. You get to find out what works, what doesn't work, and you get to choose all the things you want to do. I love that we get to have such a personal relationship with our horses that before, like you guys know, when you board horses, it's not as personal. They don't know you as their caregiver. It's not the same. But having them here has just been glorious and amazing. And even though we have to come down in the freezing cold, to do chores and clean up their poop and give them fresh water. I would do it a million times over because it's so amazing for me. It is so amazing to have this opportunity. Gabby showed up. Yeah. Ruby's here. Oh, there's one more bucket. Okay, go throw that in and I'll fill them. So one of the things that we still haven't gotten around to is setting up our water. Uh, you guys might know that somebody came in and hooked it up to the ground. So we actually have running water in the barn now but we still need to put a tap to it. Sam bought all the things he needed to buy a tap, to put a tap in it, and then it didn't fit, so now he has to take it back. But one thing you guys might not know is that we go to the barn five times a week now, and all of a sudden we have no time. We did have a Christmas party planned for this weekend, a barn Christmas party. It got canceled, and so we're gonna have a little bit more time to do the things we need to do. So he's gonna get it hooked up. So right now we're using this, whoa, we're using this this process where we fill this thing up and then we have a hose and a pump attached to it and then we plug in the hose and we can fill up our buckets anytime the weather is above freezing we try and use all of our water buckets fill them all to overflowing so that we don't have to worry about trying to get it out of the tank because our pump freezes no the water freezes the pump uh-oh the pump freezes too just like that something happened no, plug it back in. Wait, I think it's um, empty. You think it's empty? I think the rest of it's frozen. Oh. That is not cool. The rest of it's frozen. Alright, well anyway, so yeah, that was a water fail. Well, that is not going to be a happy day for Sam when he comes down and has no water for the horses for in their stall because they filled up You'll the... You'll just take it from like the uh, water drop. Anyway, so yeah. Taking care of horses in winter is a um, huge struggle. Compared to real, it's a huge struggle compared to what is like in normal weather, but it's still 100% worth it. You still think it's worth it? <clears throat> worth what? Having horses, even though we have no. to go through winter. You'd rather not have them? I'd rather board them all. Yeah, I like boarding in the winter. You might not know why we haven't been riding Stella. Stella, should I tell them? Should I tell them why we haven't been riding you? It's a secret. You're too busy. No. The busy is real though, you guys. Like, we are busy. It might not seem like it, but we are super busy. The reason we haven't been running Stella is because I have to ward this girl off. She'll try and run past me to get in. <laughs> She's like, I'm going in there. Sorry about your luck, Gracie. Can't happen. But the reason that we haven't been running Stella is because, as you guys know, the farrier came like a week and a half ago, and he's been having bad luck. Um, the stuff that he uses to, so she has special pads on her feet, special, I forget what they're called, special pads, I guess, and 
they're like a silicone kind of material and he shoots this silicone stuff up inside there and it's completely open at the back unless he puts the silicone there do not get scared and jump on me so he ran out so the whole shoe at the back was open so she had this so her foot here then a pad underneath and then an opening underneath it so dirt and rocks and stuff could get in and our yard and our property has this really thick mud and rocky stuff that kind of gets everywhere and i was really worried that it would get in there like that's the problem unless you seal those shoes up those pads up, stuff can get in there. And so I couldn't tell if anything was in there. And I, he said it was fine to ride her, but I was worried. So I had to wait for him to come back and, and finish it before we could ride her. I just always want to be super cautious. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand you read me. Doesn't matter, it's Christmas. He was here on Saturday, so we're gonna ride her today. And hopefully more often now. No, not your turn. Move your feet, move your feet. Isn't she beautiful though? Aw, good girl. Something that we're working on this year with our horses is what? Too way too small for Stella? Too short, you mean? Like they're holding her head up too high? But she's fine. You want me to lower I them? To make new ones, don't adjust them because they fit great. Oh. Estelle, are you ready? Are you ready for the ride? So all of our working saddles, fitting saddles, are at the other barn. So uh, as we ride Stella here, we're going to have to ride her in our western saddle. Or we could ride her in the other one. Oh yeah, because I have her saddle here still, right? But you like to ride her in your saddle because it fits her better. Look at how big you look, Stella. So fluffy. You have acrylic nails, Gabby said. Really long. Okay. Really long acrylic nails. Find a horse that just opens her mouth like Stella does. Making angels in the sand, you ready. Doesn't matter, it's Christmas in my heart. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this. In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just get better on a blanket with the skyline <laughs> She's wow, such a cute baby how to, uh, Look how little she is I think we should do a trivia game every single day or as many days as I can remember I'll ask you guys a question and then you guys have to comment in the com and then you guys have to answer it in the comments below and see if you get it right. So today's trivia question is this is a way to tr to test and see if you guys got it right and I will let you guys know in tomorrow's video. Okay, so today's trivia question is who is our spookiest horse out of all five of our horses? Who's our spookiest horse? Go answer. But I'm gonna turn the camera off so I can see if they all think the same answer as me. Okay, so out of all of our horses, one of them, only one is really a spooky horse that will just spook at nothing. So comment below who you think is day by day's spookiest horse. Blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, cause that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. The girls that played with their ponies and Gabby rode Stella. Today's my riding lesson. I'm getting ready to head out, but before I go, I have to eat and I have to warm up. And one of the best ways to warm up is with 10 pounds of a puppy. All three of our puppies together equal 10 pounds. This one weighs five pounds, Macy weighs three pounds, and Toby weighs two pounds. 
all of them together on top of me keep me nice and warm but seriously it's getting cold out again it was warm all day yesterday it was amazing and tonight i'm gonna freeze in my lesson but that's okay all right cookie say hi say hi cook she's like not with the camera again i saw you know how on facebook sometimes the little memory will pop up and i saw cookie a few years ago and she actually was so much darker She's yes, lightened. She was. Yeah, she's lightened so much over the years. Cookie is eight years old. Nine years old. Cookie is nine. Cookie, you're nine. And Macy is 11. Macy is 11, you guys. I can't even believe it. Like, they seem like they're just young puppies still. Ruby is four and Toby is four. They're born in the exact same month. So, we'll probably have them for a long time. But our girls are getting old, you guys. The time is coming. This girl is 11. She's almost 12, actually. 12 or she's almost 11 she's almost 12 yeah well, she's in really good health though never ever had a problem with her you would never know that she's an old girl right and she can jump anything too before Gabby started jumping Ruby you might look back on our channel Macy was the queen jumper in our family are you glad to give it up you 11 year old girl little dogs live a long time they live a lot longer but still 11 is still old so the craziest thing just happened I pride myself at being young, you guys. I, I feel like I'm a young, a young 50. Like, I don't even let age bother me because I feel like I'm young. I feel like I'm a happening young woman. And in the mail today, the government sent me a breast screening program because I'm 50. Because I'm between the ages of 50 and 74, I have to get it done. Yeah, 50 to 74. So now the government thinks I'm old. I can't believe it. Today I'm gonna ride like the wind and prove them wrong. All right, Finn sees me. Oh, Finny, you knocked your bucket. Good thing we came. Storm sees us. He's like, oh, they're here. But you're not riding tonight, boys. I'm sorry. Hello, baby. Hello. My lesson is over. I think it was a little bit shorter than normal, and that's because I was a little under the. I was a little, I was a little not in it today. Today I wanted to ride like the wind, but Denver here wanted to not. So he did not pick up his seat, even though I was squeezing like crazy. We are home from riding. I felt like I didn't get a really good chance of explaining what happened in my lesson. You guys got to see it, but I didn't get to really explain what happened. Usually I would be like so super dramatic and be like, I almost died. And it did feel like that. Basically, Denver tripped. No, his knee buckled. Why did his knee buckle? Weird step. You know when you take a step and it's awkward and your knee just buckles and you almost fall? That's what happened. If you look at his right front knee, closest to the wall, the right front, then you will see it go like, wah, before he So, tripped. basically we were just trotting around. And Fiona said that what happened is that he's older and the weather changed. It was mild yesterday and then it's really cold today. And when I found him, he was standing in the shelter. And I could tell he just didn't have it in him. Like, he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to be riding tonight. And um, so we were just going around. She thinks that he tripped. He kicked a big pile of sand in the corner that was kind of sticking out and... For whatever reason he tripped but i just wanted to point out that i did not scream you guys like i didn't plan it out like i don't ever plan to scream or to not scream it just happened so fast and i feel like my re my reactions are getting better and better it was scary as heck it was scary i thought i was going over but then i instinctively the reins i either threw the reins away or they fell out of my hands so that i could balance myself and as soon as he caught his balance he was able to go up and put me back in balance it was weird it was a really weird fall and it taught me a lot and i mean i've had worse falls on other horses so he is amazing still to me because i fell on him he fell and yet he saved me at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I was not really in my lesson after that. I kept having flashbacks and feeling nervous. I wanted to continue with my lesson though. I needed to get past the fear. I felt like he still was tripping a little and even though it's normal for him to trip a little, it was pan making me panic a little. So 
I just find it odd that I am a very safe woman. I'm not a risk-taking woman. I'm a very safe, safe woman. I don't like to go fast in cars. I don't like rides at amusement parks. And here I am, 50 years old, riding horses. It's kind of scary. <laughs> anyway, that is it for today's video. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.